Today we're going to answer a question that might make you rethink your snack choices. Dear Blocko, is it true that there are bugs in my snacks? Whew, okay. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, it is economically impractical to grow, harvest, or process raw products that are totally free of non-hazardous, naturally occurring, unavoidable defects. So, what exactly do they mean by unavoidable defects? Well, this gross category includes insect and rodent filth, which are insect fragments, eggs, maggots, rodent hair, and even rodent excrement. Yay! It may make you feel slightly better to know that the FDA has set limits to exactly how many defects may be found in each food product. For example, chocolate needs to have less than 30 insect fragments per 100 grams. Like many other foods, bugs often make their way in before or after the crop is harvested or while it's being processed. And once they're in, it's hard to get them back out. Tomato products such as canned tomatoes, tomato puree, and tomato sauce are susceptible to flies during these times. But the amount of fly eggs or maggots in them is generally limited to less than 20 eggs or two maggots per 100 grams, depending on the product. All my Italian friends are shaking. Other types of foods may attract rodents like peanut butter, which is why the set limit to rodent hair that can be found in 100 grams of peanut butter is less than one. Hey, that's great news. The worst thing to find would be excrement. Like if you sat down on the couch, started a movie you've been dying to see, opened your bag of popcorn, and there you found a little tiny rodent pellet. Gross. Luckily, like rodent hair, the FDA requires there to be less than one rodent pellet per subsample. So <laughs> you can enjoy your popcorn without fear. Want to watch even more Life Noggin? Click here to watch this video or here to watch this video YouTube thinks you'll like. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.